Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got a uh, another film review this time around. It's a film that uh, has recently been released at the cinema, and uh, that film is called 22 Jump Street. Now, 22 Jump Street pretty much has the same cast, uh, the main cast at least. You've got Channing Tatum back as Jenko, Jonah Hill back as Schmidt, and then you've got Ice Cube back as Captain Dixon. New people in 22 Jump Street include Peter Stormare, Wyatt Russell as Zook, Amber Stevens as Maya, Gillian Bell as Mercedes, Lucas Brothers as Keith and Kenny Yang, and Jimmy Tatro as Rooster. Pretty much from the outset there is comedy. The storyline is the same as last time. Ice Cube says it a few times, so does Jonah Hell. It, it is mentioned and brought up a few times how 22 Jump Street is the same as 21 Jump Street. One of the main differences is that Schmidt and Jenko are not in school anymore, they are in college, as they call it in America, which is probably the equivalent to university over here in England. Once again, there is a drug, a synthetic drug, that has been made and being distributed to all members on the college campus. The name of this drug is called Wi-Fi. There is a twist on who is actually the drug dealer. That I did not see coming. Once again, uh, Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill with Ice Cube as well are oh, a very funny combination of uh, characters. Um, it's been a while since I have actually been to the cinema and actually laughed out loud. There well, are some very funny moments. There's a big twist with uh, the captain's daughter. I didn't see that uh, twist coming, but uh, it was very funny. Uh, Channing Tatum as well, he has some very comedy moments. He also gets a bit bit of a bromance going on with uh, Zook, who is a American football scholarship wanting um, attendee at the college. So there's a bit of a gay bromance, um, jealous Schmidt love triangle going on there. In this film, apart from going along with the, the storyline of the drugs uh, being distributed, there is a love story going on with Schmidt. Like I've mentioned, Channing Tatum has his own love story. Uh, with a fellow American football playing scholarship college member. He also decides um, that maybe he wants to take a path of being an American footballer rather than an undercover drug busting cop. But um, on a basis of how funny it is, it is very, very funny, uh, very entertaining. Channing Tatum's character, once again, he's not the smartest guy um, ever known on film history. Uh, he is pretty funny, he gets his lines wrong, um, some obvious moments of doing something, he, uh, he doesn't understand them, nothing sort of clicks, uh, which does make it funny. But the duo of Jenko and Schmidt are back, um, Ice Cube is back again. It is a funny film, can't recommend it enough if you've seen the first one, if you're a fan of Channing Tatum, uh, Joan Hill, Ice Cube. Uh, if you're a fan of any of them and you have seen the previous Jump Street, then definitely go watch it. I've only seen 21 Jump Street twice, if that. I pretty much went to the cinema to watch this when it was uh, newly released. But yeah, there are some very funny moments, even at the end when uh, the credits are rolling. Uh, so stick around for that, really. Uh, it kind of takes the piss out of sequels. Almost takes it way over the top, however it is funny to see. 23 Jump Street as well is pretty much uh, teased. Uh, within 10 minutes of the film opening but honestly 22 Jump Street cannot recommend it enough a uh, very funny laugh out loud comedy uh, if you like Channing Tatum, Joan Hill, Ice Cube if you've seen the previous one 21 Jump Street uh, then I think you'd like it and I do recommend it uh, so yeah thanks for watching my pretty quick review of 22 Jump Street hope you like it thanks for watching also with the devoted links down below as per usual Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items. Links down below as per usual. But guys, thanks for watching my review of 22 Jump Street. Cannot recommend it enough. A very laugh out loud comedy. <clears throat> so, thanks for watching.